All right, welcome back to Jonesy Cast. I'm Jonesy. This is the cast. Hey, basically, what I do is go through subreddits and do video responses, relationship advice, relationships, etc. Hey, um, oh, I'm also going to start doing. If you want to email jonesycast at gmail.com, I'll try to do a publicly available video for those. Just please don't make them too long because I don't have that much time. Hey, um, like and subscribe if you want. If you don't, that's cool too. All right, let's get into it. Um, relationship advice, free balling 907 just now, titled Arguing. This guy and I have liked each other for over a year. Whole backstory is too much to explain, but right now we're still only friends. But the thing is, whenever we see each other, we always get into little arguments. They aren't big or anything, but they always happen. So much to the point where all of our friends say we argue like an old married couple. He seems like he enjoys it because last time I saw him, I didn't want to argue. So I didn't talk to him as much. And he asked, where's your fiery responses? I'm just tired of arguing, but I love him and I don't know what this means. Like, is this just toxic or what? I'm just so very confused because I know he loves me too. Okay. Also, my friends think it's just his way of not wanting to let me go, but it makes no sense. It does make sense. Okay, so here's the deal. Different people love in different ways. Sometimes the way that, for example, a boy will show his mother that he loves her is by buying her something that he would like because he doesn't understand what she would like, right? It's also the case that a lot of victims of psychological abuse or toxic relationships learn how to love the way they see love being perpetrated or engaged in or enacted out right so it seems like what's happened is but right now but the thing is whenever we see each other we always get into little arguments it seems like both of you have allowed that or caused that to be the standard and it may have started that way so the way that you love each other is by engaging in conflict right it's it is toxic, but it can be gotten out of. You, you can get out of it as long as you want it and he wants it, okay? But the thing is, at this point, just from your story on this post, he doesn't know that you don't want it. So you should tell him, hey, I really like you and I like spending time with you and I like talking with you and I like listening to you. But I don't like fighting with you. I don't like arguing with you because... It just, it takes it out of me, all right? And then see what his, his response is. Um, I'll tell you something, I'll tell you something that I read uh, years ago. I'm 33 now. I must have read it in my early 20s. <clears throat> it was a quote by someone and it goes, it is a very good thing for a man to be in the presence of a woman with whom he can feel excel accelerated excited enamored right and you can man to man woman to woman whatever right but the second part of the quote is it is even better for a man to be in the presence of a woman in whose presence he can relax okay and again man to man gale straight potato or you know tomato sauce whatever as long as you are in the presence of of someone with whom you can relax, that is the right relationship to be in. And one of the reasons I know that my relationship is very strong is that I can just relax. <clears throat> I can be me. I can feel flawed. I can let my defenses down. I don't have to engage in the dance of arguing all the time just to keep my girlfriend interested in me, right? So it may be the case that he thinks to keep the your interest in him, he needs to engage and argue with you. And that's not the case, but you haven't told him that. And you've acted in a way that has reinforced that. And again, I'm not blaming you. I'm just simply telling you that if every time you see each other, you argue then he can only expect that that is to continue. He can only work with what he's seen because the best predictor of future behavior is past behavior, right? So look, short video this time, but if I was in your position, I would um, just tell him, 
And don't tell him in an angry way. Don't tell him this is what you do. But just say, look, I feel that we are arguing just to stay together or just because that's the language we know. Because there are some couples that that is just the language they know, right? And you just need to tell him, look, this is not the language I want to speak with you. I want to speak the language of love. I want to speak the language of peace. I want to speak the language of harmony. I want to speak the language of acceptance. I want to speak the language of being able to relax and be who I am with you because I really like you and I may even love you, okay? I hope this video helps and um, I wish you all the best in your endeavors with this young man.